What's going on guys? My name is Brendan Myers. The new Lowston pre-workout is officially live. Link is in the description. This is the 30 for 30 series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money. Depression be calling. Left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. Today we have cardio and abs on the agenda. <laughs> make sure you are warming up properly and make sure you do not take this workout lightly. If you follow the technique for all the abs and you go full speed, full speed, very, very important, 100% through the cardio portion, you're gonna feel it for sure. So before we jump in, I wanna give you a few tips you could be following for this workout and let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. For both cardio and abs, I suggest resting anywhere from 20 seconds to 45 seconds. It's okay if you need more time. Number two, you should be breathing moderately by the time you are done warming up. That should consist of about 10 to 15 minutes of movements. Number three, I just shotgunned the Create You Low Stim Pre-Workout for this workout. Pick it up, link is in the description. Number four, have you ever tried collagen protein instead of whey protein? For me, it's been much easier to digest than any other protein powder. Number five, eat your vegetables. It makes a world of a difference on your digestion, energy levels, and ability to absorb the rest of your food you're consuming in your daily diet. The vitamins and minerals are out of this world. All right, so for the first two movements, we have a 20 yard sprint and a 30 yard sprint. Three sets of those 20 yards and then two sets of the 30 yards. Now, when we're doing a type of sprint, it's maximal exertion, it's not any jogs. If you feel like your knees is kind of hurting a little bit, try some incline runs, find a little hill. If you're, if you're living in Florida like I grew up, then go ahead and do some striders. And striders is just gonna be less than maximal exertion, but for a longer distance, so about 100 yards, okay? And then rest, just like you would with these different sets. So with this positioning, you can start from a three-point stance if you would like. I generally, Mm, it, it really depends on how I'm feeling, how my lower back is feeling. But for this right now, in, in this tutorial, we're just gonna be dropping into it and we're gonna explode out and be as quick as possible through those yardage. Um, it, it, one thing that, I, that I've always noticed is that when people are sprinting, they tend to have issues with clamping their heels into the ground. We definitely do not want that. We do not wanna be hitting our heels into the ground. So the way I look at it is, let's keep our knees a little bit higher and load our toe so that we're coming down and hitting the ball of our feet and coming right back up, right? So, so it'd be more as so like here, okay? Rather than, so we don't want any clamping on the ground with our heels, all right? So um, that is your first couple different sets and let's keep on going. All right, so we have a zigzag cone drill. Now, I didn't bring any cones out here because I wanted to show you that you could do it pretty much anywhere you wanted it wanted to be um, without any type of objects. You could put your phone down if you would like just to get it started somewhere. Um, and then what we're gonna do is four steps forward. So big yards, one, two, three, four, okay? Then we're gonna go two, four, one, two. All right, from here, I usually just mark it Okay, I see the mark, I know exactly where to go. Then I'm gonna go over two more yards. One, two, then it'll be four yards back. One, two, three, four. I mark it, okay? Then I go another two. One, two. And then I go four yards back. So one, two, three, four. So from here, I know exactly how I'm supposed to be running this movement. So it's basically, basically a zigzag, okay? So I'm gonna start here. You can go ahead and move right over here. I'm gonna start here, okay? And I'm going to turn, actually you can, you can face the other cone or the mark that you made, all right? And what you're gonna do as fast as you can, you wanna sprint, come around, come around as fast as you can. Come back here, come around as fast as you can. Come back here. And then come around one last time and sprint through about five yards, all right? So let me show you from this side. Let's say you wanna start from over here, all right? So you're gonna be here, boom, as fast as you can. Speed around the cone, come back. Speed around the cone, come through. Speed outside and sprint through five yards, okay? This is gonna be as quick as possible. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Let's make it happen, that is your set. All right, we have a 100 yard strider, baby. Going into a 
five minute jump rope. Now, with these striders, we just wanna make sure we're trying to open up our gait a little bit more through our sprint. It's gonna be about 80%, 85% sprint for 100 yard, okay? So let me just show you real quick what it's gonna look like a little bit. So it'll be like this speed right here. That's it. And then you're gonna go straight into a five minute jump rope after those two sets. And if you don't have a jump rope, that's completely fine. Just go here for five minutes and boom, that's your cardio workout. Okay, we're back indoors. You can do this at the park if you would like as well. But we're gonna do six inch crunches going into 15 roll ups. So these six inch crunches, we've done this in the past. All right, so you're six inches off the ground, making sure your spine is not overextending here, squeezing everything in right here. You're tucking in your chin about one inch off the ground, squeezing, you can put your hands under your butt if it's too hard, and the crunches are gonna be here, not too high up. We don't want that lower spine to be worked at all, and coming right back, okay? Right here, and right back. Then we're gonna go straight into roll up. So from that position, just put your feet here, bend your knees. You, want, you don't want them too close to your butt, a little bit further away, so you have to extend a little bit more here or flex a little bit more there, okay? And you're gonna put your hands on your thighs, tuck in your chin, and it's really just bringing up your shoulder blades as so. You know this movement here for back is the same type of thing, keeping everything as tight as possible up, not trying to touch the front of your kneecaps, just towards the top of your kneecap. Okay, this movement we have around the world. Now, if you don't know what around the worlds are, you're gonna be in a six inch position here, okay? You can also go into more of a cradled position here, you're tucking in your knees a little bit more, squeezing them together, tucking in your chin, and you can go, and you're gonna be going around and scooting all the way around the entire way. I actually showed this in the last ab workout, I believe, okay? All the way around, that's gonna be half of one rep, and you go all the way back around. So, if you're more advanced, you're gonna be here, and I'm really scooting, and the way I'm doing this, if you watch really, really closely, I'm pushing off of this shoulder slightly, and then also allowing my obliques here to work and squeeze myself to get to that next position. So watch closely, boom, boom. And it's interesting because one side is crunching, the other side is crunching, and it's in a fluid, fluid motion all the way around, one each way, and then two each way. Got it? Then we have roll-ups. Again, we just did this last movement. We're gonna finish off strong this superset just at that. Okay, we have a 30 second plank hold. And if you guys remember, everything is supposed to be straight from our elbows to our wrists to our hands, all the way straight here, tucking in our chins and pushing away from the ground as much as possible. You don't wanna be looking forward, not good for your neck. Squeeze and push almost like your rib cage is coming back into your body as so. Okay, squeezing in your glutes. This is almost like a full body workout and boom, 30 seconds. There you go. Finishing off, we got some good old toe touches. Touching your toes. Hey, how low can you go? I can't sing, by the way. Right, so what you're gonna do is, uh, if you want to bend your knees a little bit more, you can, absolutely no worries. If you are a little bit more flexible and you can really straighten out everything, go ahead. Point your toes towards your head as so, or you can put them forward, whichever is a little bit more comfortable for you. You're not gonna be touching your toes, but what you are gonna be doing is lifting up your shoulder blades away from the ground, coming right back down, tucking in your chin, okay? So just coming up from the ground, utilizing just your abs, Coming right back down. Here, here, here. It's just a very slight movement and that is your set. All right guys, so there you have it. That is your workout for the day. It's brutal, it is, it definitely is. If you're resting any from, anywhere from 20 seconds to 45 seconds or even up to a minute and, a, and 15 seconds, that's completely fine, minute and a half, um, just depending on the level of your fitness. You know, Maybe you are more advanced, then cut down the rest periods a little bit more and, and get after it. But maximal exertion is extremely important and technique is, is even more important. This is the 30 for 30 series back every single morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're coming towards the end of the series, so there are gonna be a couple more workouts and then we're moving on to some vlogs and, and everything there. Uh, if you wanna pick up the low step pre-workout or the greens or our probiotics or a creatine that I take, Go ahead, the link is always in the description or go to createunutrition.com. Follow me on Instagram right here at the B Myers. Also check out the podcast, Create You Experience. I host that and I absolutely love talking with you guys. It's the Create You Experience again on all audio platforms. Uh, and that's it, subscribe, turn your post notifications on and I'll see you next time. Peace.